Thanks for looking out for you. Hope you didn't go home. Free fall foam foam. That's neat. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Was I right to break that? <laughs> Something's in there. Bang! Key. Pick it up. Ooh, let's check these other ones. They may have other things with them. Oh, they like, oh, yeah, fuck that. You found the key already, so. No need to pick us up anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go that way, dude. I just make sure the rest don't wear orange, you know. Watch out, we might got some snakes and lizards in that place. Might jump out of us. Door is always closed behind us. Yeah, don't go near the portal device yet. Get that weapon just in case we get attacked from behind. All the weapons in here. You see some of these weapons? Some of them were just right there on the ground. Yeah, I'm looking around first. Fuck that shit. Well, you got nothing to think of right now. Okay, time to watch this stupid video. Back on showing us like sin. What's our next clue, buddy? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you the succeed, fuck? you will get your reward. Well, we have five freaking minutes. Where that axe? I just saw that somewhere. There was an axe on the damn floor. Ooh, what's so Get the axe, man. Get the axe. Get the axe. No. Why do you got the axe near the freaking door? I don't fuck that shit. Uh, change how it is. Hey, change saw. Old you buddy, old pal. Four minutes and thirty seconds left. We get near the, the axe at all. You have 
four minutes left. No, it's time to do it, buddy. That was on the um, crazy to watch there. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. She's 
She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. On my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Downstairs, they're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. from the police. <laughs> See, here this is what I like. I didn't even open up the little Lagami thing. No, this is good. <sighs> Ethan. Ethan, what's the matter? <sighs> We've got to keep going. <sighs> Ethan. Ethan, Not you're coming. You. Not time for you to have a panic attack, dude. I forgot what he has, but yeah. That's a good time.
We've got to get on that train, Ethan. It's our only chance. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Hey, everybody standing there. That's not how everybody supposed to be standing there. Hey, y'all didn't see us go across the thing? Yeah, Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. No evidence that he is one. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. You're all set, ready to say, fuck that shit, I'm gonna help you. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. 